Welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we have a fabulous guest with us, Andrew. Hi. Hi. Hi, Andrew. Thanks for Thanks joining for us. Me. Andrew is an educator here, and he's joining us to talk about a special feature in 2005. So this is a system preference that has a little bit of an enhancement now that you'll get to see in your item call number. So Andrew, tell us a little bit about this enhancement. Sure. Um, so there's a system preference in there called item call number, straightforward name, that tells Koha when it's looking at a bib record, it tells Koha which mark field to look at to find the call number that it should put into any item record you create. Um, so most of the time, that's a matter of picking, you know, the 082 for a Dewey number or mm -hmm. the uh, 050 for the, for the LOC number. And mostly that's straightforward. You just need the one field. But we definitely have libraries that throughout their collection vary that up a little bit. The, the example I see most often is like a public library that is a Dewey library. So usually they're looking at that 082 for the Dewey number, mm -hmm. but a lot of public libraries don't just put all of their fiction in the 800s because that's not super helpful. Yeah. Um, so for all their fiction titles, they're not using that 082 number. They're setting something locally. And that could just go in the item records, but this new system preference is going to let us tell the bib or tell Koha, check a couple different fields in the bib record so that you'll find that fiction number first. And if that's not there, then you'll fail over to the nonfiction number. But let's look at that in practice and see a little bit more of how this comes together. This is huge, Andrew. Don't you agree? Going on yeah. property, talking to libraries about this. This is the best of all the worlds. Yeah. It's, really, it's absolutely one of those like baseline ease of use things that's going to save everybody just a lot of clicks in their day, which is great. A lot of clicks. All right. So let me share my screen. And here we are in system preferences. So starting here, item call number, map these mark subfields to an items call number. So previously we could only do one field and then any number of subfields in it. Mm -hmm. Now we can do a string of subfields. So we've done three here, the 092 A and B, the 082 A and B, and then the 050 A and B. It's gonna check each of those tags in order the comments are sort of the separation. So if it can get something out of the 092 A or B, it'll take that and then not think any further. So that's already saved. Let me grab a record. So it goes in order. If it finds nothing in the first one, it moves on to the second one, finds nothing in the second one, it moves on to the third one. Perfect. All right, so this existing record has an 050, but no 082 and no 092. So again, going back to our system preference, we expect it to skip over those first two and give us the 050 when we make a new item. So if I go new item, it's grabbed that 050 call number. But maybe that's not what we want to use. So here's the same record just in the editor. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add in here, we'll go 092, give it a couple of indicators and make up a call number. 400, oh, oh, see I did it wrong. Don't, no, don't know, will you let me catalog for them? Uh, check out our deep dive episode, Andrew. Will you explain to me how Dewey numbers work? Run <laughs> <laughs> the telemeters? <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. I took a whole class in it. It just didn't work. <laughs> now, in this okay. case, it does look like the number is right down there in the 949 in this record. I think the 3.373. Yeah. Oh. Look at yeah, I could have copied that. Well, yeah. and for that, rec for that matter, like if you're getting all your bib records from some place that you know puts a call number in the 949 for whatever reason, go ahead and point your system preference at that. This is gonna be super individual just based on where your records come from mm -hmm. and how they're structured. Absolutely. Perfect. All right, I added that 092 in. I saved the record. So now if I come back over here, just 
got too much stuff open. And say new item again. This time, it grabbed my 092 instead of my 050. This is, this is awesome. This is exciting. 2005 is right around the corner. So this is coming to a library system near you in your own library. And you are going to be able to customize this call number preference to your needs. Yep. All right. Okay. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us this week. Thank well, you. thank you both. I'm happy to talk about this bug. It's a personal favorite. Ta-da. <laughs> Here it is on the screen. I want to. I want to point out though how old it is. This is an old bug. This is bug number three thousand four hundred twenty-six. We're in the twenty-six thousandth now. I think. When was yeah. it submitted? Two thousand nine. Wow. Wow. And I like this bug because it's like a personal lesson to me. This is one that I had been told several. Like I'd been asked several times at trainings, "Can it do this?" Mm -hmm. And finally, like. Oh, round about 2019 and something. You could see my comment in here. I like made this big resolution that from now on, when people ask me for stuff like that in training, I'm going to go file a bug. In this particular one, there was a bug there already. And I poked it. And that made Katrin say, yeah, this is a good idea that somebody had a long time ago. And then she, she wrote a patch for it. And here we are. Never hurts to ask. Ask for the stuff you want Kohata to do. File the That's bug. That's what I was just going to say. It never yeah. hurts to ask. And honestly, I think that sometimes it's the people that are joining Koha for the first time. They're like, wouldn't it be great? So those are the ones that are like reminding us, oh yeah, that would be great. And I yeah. bet a lot of people would appreciate that. So that's awesome, Andrew. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm okay. nervously okay. clicking with your tabs because that's what I do. Have a great week. Have a great week. Bye, Andrew. Bye, Bye Kelly. Bye.